care of dead body. Introduction Life begins with birth and ends with death. Birth and death are two aspects of life, which will happen to everyone. Dying and death are painful and personal experiences for those that are dying and their loved ones caring for them. Death affects each person involved in multiple ways, including physically, psychologically, emotionally, spiritually, and financially. The family turns to the nurse for support and assistance. Death will come to all people at some time. Caring allows the patient to die with dignity. An important aspect of patient care is to the patient's sense of identity and self-esteem. Every person has the right to die with dignity. Definition of death. Death is defined as Cessation of heart-lung function, or of whole brain function, or of higher brain function. Either irreversible cessation of circulatory and respiratory functions or irreversible cessation of all functions of the entire brain, including the brain stem. Signs of clinical death. Absence of pulse, heartbeat and respirations. Pupil becoming fixed and not reacting to light. Absence of all reflexes. Rigor mortis, stiffing of the body after death. The arms and legs cannot be bent or straightened while rigor mortis is present unless the tendons are torn. Postmortem hypostasis, it is a dark red or bluish discoloration due to the settling of the blood. Changes in body after death. Rigor mortis, body becomes stiff within 4 hours after death as a result of decreased ATP production. ATP keeps muscles soft and supple. Alga mortis, temperature decreases by a few degrees each hour. The skin loses its elasticity and will tear easily. Liver mortis, dependent parts of body become discolored. The patient will likely be lying on their back, their backside being the dependent body part. The discoloration is a result of blood pooling, as the hemoglobin breaks down. Caring for the body after death. After the physician has pronounced death legally documented the death in the medical record, care of the body is usually performed by the nurse. An autopsy consent may be requested and obtained if required. If the patient is to be an organ donor arrangements will be made immediately. The family often wishes to view the body before final preparations are made, they may be allowed. If the patient had any valuables, they are handed over to the relatives. Purposes Make body look as natural and beautiful as possible. Perform his last duty tenderly. Protect other patients from unpleasant sights and sounds which could frighten them. Articles required. Articles for bath. Extra bandages and cotton swabs. Perennial pads. Sheets. Restraints for jaw, hands and legs. Pair of gloves. Thumb forceps. Patient's own set of clothes. Procedure. Wash hands and put on gloves. Soon the death is pronounced, remove the backrest, extra pillows and gently put the patient in a supine position with the head elevated on the pillow. Positioning is important after death, because of rigor mortis. Close the patient's eyes and mouth. Remove all tubes and other devices from the patient's body. Consult close relatives before preparing the body for removal from the ward to the mortuary where the relatives will receive the body. If the relatives require, the nurse should help them to sponge the patient as necessary. Brush and comb hair. Replace soiled dressing with cleaned ones. Apply perineal pads and plug the rectum and vagina, in females, with cotton balls. Provide clean cloths, own. Take care of valuables and personal belongings by handing over to members of family. Allow members of family to see the patient and remain in the room and remember that the body is still dear to someone. Close the body from side to side and head to foot with the sheet. Prepare the identification slip and attach it to the patient's pack sheet. Attach a special label if the patient had a contagious disease. Transfer the body to the mortuary. Remove contaminated articles from room. Identification tag should contain Patient name Age Registration number Relative's name, specify Address Ward number Bed number 
Date and time of death. Cause of death. So guys, thanks for watching my video. You can like and comment on my video, but don't forget to subscribe my YouTube channel to watch quality content like this. Thank you guys.